Hi, welcome again to Brady Works, a monthly show that I'm doing to help inform the constituents of the 2nd Plymouth Bristol District, which includes the city of Brockton, includes the towns of Northeastern, Whitman, Hanson, Hanover, Halifax, East Bridgewater, and Plimpton. And today, my guest is Pastor Cherie, who's uh, very active with the Haitian community in Brockton. We're gonna talk about what we can do for the residents of Haiti that live in Brockton and other parts of the Commonwealth, as well as the country of Haiti, uh, they suffered through another devastating earthquake. Before I do that, though, I just want to give a little updates. This is August, so August has been declared National Black-Owned Business Month, and we're going to have events to honor the black-owned businesses in the city of Brockton coming up. And also, Brockton just received another check from the Plymouth County CARES Act directly to the city of Brockton to reimburse any expenses that has been occurred from the COVID pa pa pandemic. And Brockton recently got a check at a recent city council meeting of $875,000. The total Brockton has received so far is $13.6 million. And that's very important because so many people in the city of Brockton have suffered through the COVID epidemic. So that's a couple of things going on, but I want to welcome Pastor Sheree and uh, I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we'll talk about what's going on with the recent tragedy in Haiti. Good afternoon, Senator Brady. My name is Pastor Cherry. I have been in Brockton for 33 years, working to the, together with the Asian community. What brought me to Brockton was a church. Um, in 1982, when I started coming to Brockton to just check the land to see exactly what we can do to plant the church, um, uh, we I came with a pastor, and then fortunately that he passed. And we, we came in 82, and then we tried to see if we can find a Haitian family to uh, use the basement to plant the church. And that, that didn't happen at the time, but we came back again, and that happened. In 1985, we planted a church in Brockton that we studied at church. And then I moved to Brockton in 1988. Uh, at the time, I think that um, I think that uh, and Mayor uh, Units was the mayor of Brockton, if I'm not mistaken on that. Uh, and I work with uh, radio in Brockton, and also I work with the church and with all the churches. Right now we have more than 150 churches in Brockton. At the time that we didn't have any, any like Haitian, Asian churches in Brockton. Um, we, after Pastor Gando, we were the second church in Brockton, and then we started working together with the Asian community. Right now, we have an association of pastors in Brockton where we work together with, uh, uh, with the Haitian communities and uh, also other communities. And we had uh, an earthquake in Brockton, about in Brockton, in Haiti in 2010, and I think that um, the city of Brockton have a lot to do that. My role in Brockton is a pastor, and also I have uh, an organization called HACA, which you know that you supported in that uh, uh, to give services to the Haitian community. The, my organization has five components. I think that we encourage and, uh, uh, people to register to vote, and also I give service. I prepare and train people to become American citizens, and also I give ESL classes. For those who, that the immigrants who just arrived from Haiti and other uh, islands, uh, I train them. And also I have like GED classes and also I have a computer classes that I uh, help and serve in Brockton. I, uh, I'm very glad to work together with uh, Senator Brady. I can tell you that Senator Brady is a very good friend of the Asian people and uh, he supported a lot. Uh, uh, I remember that when I just opened Haka in 2016, I invited all the elected officials to take part of that, and uh, he was one of them to speak and then to encourage that um, project. And the project is still going in Brockton, and uh, I'm glad that to give service to more than 200 people uh, in Brockton. And Every student that I send for uh, interview for citizenship all pass. That I mean that I'm doing a good job uh, training and preparing uh, people to become American citizens. It's a great pleasure 
to be here today to talk about what happened in Haiti. I remember that in 2000 it happened, and then Bokton happened a lot, and happened again in 2021. It's a great pleasure to be here with you, Senator Brady. Thank you, Pastor. And, uh, and I, I appreciate all the work you've done in the community. You've been uh, very active reaching out to myself. I've, I've been at your church and several of the other churches. I know that uh, we have a great uh, community from Haiti in the city of Brockton yes. and in Boston as well. But more importantly, Brockton, we have some great businesses like Gino's Restaurant. Fred Fontaine's been active, but also Gene Derencourt, who had brought me to many of the churches uh, in Brockton uh, to meet all the residents and so forth. And you've been a leader in our community. And we've had a lot of great news in the city of Brockton but uh, today we're here in a very serious situation with the uh, country of Haiti. As you mentioned, they did have a very serious earthquake in January of 2010, and the area of Port-au-Prince really got devastated, yes. and it was a very serious thing. Very serious. The, the good news at that point, a lot of Brockton residents uh, and people from Boston, because we have a Haitian population in Boston, they stepped up and they donated whatever the needs were, whether it be food, whether it be items, and I'm gonna show some of the items that we need for this situation, but we met at a lot of churches, and there was a lot of great things, and, and there was some things you've gotta watch out for because there's some scams out there that yes. kind of take advantage of people. So you gotta make sure, as we talk about, we need your donations for, to help the people in Haiti. Just be careful of any non-lawful groups out there because there's people that do try to take advantage of the situation, but, um, so this earthquake just occurred um, probably about, what is it, a week ago almost, or less than two that? Weeks. No, two weeks. Two, two weeks, two weeks ago. And it's been very serious, and I want to thank the city has stepped up there, taking donations at City Hall. I know all of our elected officials in Brockton and at the state level are working together. Yes. And I did reach out to a federal delegation. I know Congressman Lynch represents the city of Brockton, yes. and U.S. Senators Markey and Warren, they are talking about trying to get some help at the federal level as well but it's still in the early stages, but this is a very serious situation and we have to help out as much as possible. So we had a vigil at City Hall recently this past Saturday yes. and uh, we had a good group of residents here, elected officials, and they talked about donating such items that are needs because some of the residents, their houses have been devastated. The people are sleeping outside with no shelter, under the inclement weather, et cetera and it's been very difficult for the residents, so. And plus we had a storm also. Yeah, another storm came, that's correct. And we need so many things, so I've brought some things to just let the people know what they can donate, and I'm gonna give these to uh, Pastor Sherry, but um, it's very difficult, and we need all the help we can get, all hands on deck. I know years ago, when I served in the State House of Representatives before I became a state senator, I served with Representative Linda DeSena Flory, she since had become a state senator. She's moved on. She's been a great friend. And Marie St. Fleur was a rep yes. as well. And we have to reach out to the community to help get anything we can possibly donate to through the city of Brockton or through the Haitian community partners. Uh, Marlene Amadi, she's been active trying to get people help as well. Yes. And, and you can let us know. And I have some other uh, places where they can help to donate. But this is another devastating earthquake, and as you mentioned, the storm that happened right afterwards. So, yes. uh, Pastor Sheree, if you'd like to add anything that, that you would recommend people to do, uh, you are the expert. You've been here and active in the community for a long time as well. Yes, I think it's very important for the community to uh, do what they can to help Haiti because um, they did that before. Uh, as I mentioned that in 2010, uh, we like uh, motivated the community in order to help, and they did, because we had a big, big uh, fundraiser that we uh, organized to help out. Uh, and uh, uh, they, uh, uh, the, the Association of the Asian Pastors put together that event to raise money for Haiti, we raised uh, and, and sent to Haiti more than $60,000 that to help in that because that was terrible, uh, especially in Port-au-Prince where uh, no, almost everything was gone. And uh, what we can do again, we can do the same thing that we did in 2010 to help. And uh, I think that the need is like more, especially when that the earthquake that uh, the magnitude was 7.2, uh, 
and it was terrible. And then that um, there are many things that people can can donate to to, to Haiti, and also uh, if they can find a place to donate that, as that you mentioned, as Senator Brady, I think that the, uh, the mayor mentioned that also they can donate that to the city of Brockton, to the city hall, they can bring that. And also the Association of Pastors is available uh, to receive donation because um, we did that before and we have the channel that to give uh, to Haiti. That uh, I know that uh, they, they need a lot of things, uh, there are a lot of things, especially medical things, uh, medical supplies, and also they need some kind of, um, not, not really food for now, but they need money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they can buy stuff uh, to help themselves and tents uh, and also other things that they need. And again, we got to make sure the money goes in the right direction, yes. not, not to be abused because there is unlawful things. So some of the groups that people can donate to is UNICEF, uh, Project Hope, Hope for Haiti, Save the Children, World Vision, Catholic Relief Services, and there's many other organizations, but that's just a few. Uh, the Red Cross is another legitimate organization to donate to as well. But um, as the pastor mentioned, food isn't as much needed as things for shelter and cleanliness and so forth. So just a couple things that we brought to show that you can donate. First aid packages, you can donate those. These are masks. Uh, we, we have them in this country. Thank God to the Brockton Emergency Management in the city of Brockton. They have got supplies and the neighborhood health center has helped out with vaccinations for our, for our residents in Brockton, but there's not enough supplies in Haiti. And these are just simple masks, very inexpensive. I know Brockton Emergency Management has a good supply on West Elm Street at the old... Uh, and, and also we have two organizations working together in Boston mm -hmm. that yeah. we have HAU. HAU is a, is a Haitian um, American United mm -hmm. and also AFAB, another organization, they get together to help to see what they can get. Uh, also, if you probably people need to donate, and they can donate to the to HAU mm -hmm. at the same time because that they are the first one to uh, put the, together an organization that they put together a task force to help Haiti. Mm -hmm. So they have so many. I think that, that they have a like uh, we call that the shipment already uh, sent to Haiti. Mm -hmm. I think that they are about to do that. And according to what the mayor said in Brockton, I think that on September seven is the date that they're gonna send the shipment also to Haiti. Yes. Therefore, if you need to donate to Haiti, you can do it as soon as possible so uh, we can send it to Haiti that uh, on the September 7th. And the, the mayor's office mentioned they are opening uh, 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, if somebody wants to donate. Yes. And, and again, some other things he needs, like tents. This is a sleeping bag that uh, people, you know, things we take for granted that you know, we live in a shelter, we have a nice roof over our head and food on the table. It is so devastating over there that some residents' houses are completely wiped out where they're sleeping on the ground with no shelter above them or nothing. Yes. So we even, you know, we've supplied some tents too. This is a simple tent, very ex inexpensive. You can get at some of the local sporting goods stores or whatever. Um, I know other stores that are less expensive, they, they, they have things and it's so important if anybody can donate uh, I want to thank all of our elected officials because we all came together for this vigil on Saturday. Yes. It's not one person working alone. Um, it's everybody working together. And it's so important. This is what brings us together, uh, an unfortunate situation. And we have to work together on this. It's so important. I know, uh, you know, I did reach out to the leadership of the state delegation to see what else we can do at the state level. Um, you know, I know in the past we've gotten some money for the Hayes Community Partners, but it's still not enough, and we have to do more in our federal delegation. And as I mentioned, not to be repetitive, but uh, both the U.S. Senators Markey and Warren, um, they had mentioned about trying to get something together. It's in the planning stage now, even though the time is of the essence, but there's so many other things going on. Um, I know we just survived, a, fortunately, in this country, uh, the hurricane somewhat missed Brockton, but out in the western part of the state, more towards Route 495 or Route 2, they had a couple tornadoes that touched down. Thank God nobody died. But you just imagine the, the death toll in Haiti, over 2,000 people. Yes. And there, there may be still people that are suffering and injured and, and, and people that are missing, over 344 people missing. That's just the latest numbers. And the numbers continue to go. People getting trapped under the buildings and so forth. It, it's such a very serious situation. So 
We have to all do our part. I'm reaching out to the community. You can also contact my office if anybody wants to have ideas to reach out, which is my office number 617-722-1200, 617-722-1200. My state house office is michael.brady at masenate.gov. But um, locally, I know the mayor's office is, is accepting supplies. I know all of our city councils are working together on this in, uh, in the churches. In, in the yes, uh, I don't know if you allow me to um, speak to my community yes. as well. That would be very, very important because uh, as I see that uh, the elected officials in Brockton and uh, they put together some kind of um, uh, activities to help Haiti uh, at the same time that I would like my people also to help mm -hmm. because they have the uh, capacity to do that and uh, because they have some family members who are affected by the earthquake in Haiti. Si que nous, en tant qu'Haïtiens, nous avons besoin d'aider, même si nous voyons que nous gagnons des étrangers qui ont aidé nous à Boston et ça fait longtemps de, de cela depuis que la euh, communauté haïtienne a pu se voir bénéfice de la part des étrangers. Euh, en tant qu'Haïtien, moi, j'ai suggéré que nous avons fait diligence pour que nous soyons capables d'aider. Aider en même temps pendant ce temps que nous voyons que l'autre monde, la, les officiels, a pu aider Haïti. Nous sommes capables de faire en sorte que nous sommes capables d'aider Haïti. Ce que nous avons besoin, nous avons quel que soit ça, nous besoin de Haïti. Nous avons contacté moi, ou bien nous avons contacté le pasteur Kiki, ou bien nous avons contacté l'autre leader de la communauté, Marlene Amide, qui mettait sous pied des, ou bien des activités, ou bien qui a une organisation qui est crédible. Nous sommes capables de faire confiance pour voir quel que soit ça, vous voyez pour Haïti, parce que Haïti a besoin. Il a besoin d'aide des enfants d'Haïti, ok, pas seulement étrangers pour aider nous, mais on fait en sorte que pour nous capables d'aider Haïti. Haïti a un peu le besoin. Si nous sommes capables, nous sommes capables de nous tourner en 508-521-02-93. Si nous sommes capables de besoin, quelle soit l'aide dont nous avons besoin pour Haïti, et nous sommes capables de voir l'association Pasteur là, et puis nous sommes capables de cheminer à l'organisation qui a voué comme en Haïti. Merci de ce que nous comprenons. Euh, que nous besoin de supporter les pays, nous, même si les étrangers ont supporté nous. Je crois que nous sommes capables de comprendre ça. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Pasteur. Um, anything else that you mentioned, can you reiterate those other organizations you said outside of, like I mentioned UNICEF, I mentioned Project Hope, uh, Hope for Haiti, Save the Children, World Vision, uh, Catholic Relief Services, you know, our church groups in Brockton and our synagogues in the area and, and in temples, those are resources to help out too, and they're good, legitimate resources. But you mentioned a couple the of the association of the Haitian pastors. Yeah. That in Brockton, we've been pastor in Brockton for many, many years. Mm -hmm. That since 2005, that we have that organization in Brockton, so they can trust that organization because, as I mentioned, that in 2010, that organization that put together an event to raise money for Haiti, and also they can just reach out to HAU. HAU is the Haitian United, the Haitian American United. So to, and also a fab if they want to send a uh, donation to Haiti. Mm -hmm. And also partners, the Asian partners, that um, by Marlene Amide, so they can just reach out to them also if they need to send some donation to Haiti. Yeah, Marlene was very active helping us out the other day at City Hall as well. And um, do you have any telephone numbers that they should reach out to besides my office if you know any? Yes, if they want to reach out to me, they can uh, call me at 508-521-0293. 508-521-0293. If they need to donate to Haiti, they can just give it to me uh, as the, I'm the treasurer of the Association of the Asian Pastors. Mm -hmm. So I can, we can just send that to HAU. Well, this is very important, and, and I'm glad to have you here today. Um, you've been a good friend to our community in Brockton, not only to myself. And uh, this is just the beginning. You know, things could get worse like they did in 2010. You know, they're still searching. There's people missing. They're searching for bodies here and everything else. And um, I know I've been invited at some point to go to Haiti if I can get the time. I know it's very difficult right now, but uh, so hopefully someday I get to visit the country. and. I know even, even from 2010, though, the seriousness, even though it happened many years ago, this 11 years now, they were still recovering from the last earthquake. I mean, we're still not out of the woods, as they say yet. Yes. And um, 
now this other devastating earthquake hit and uh, it's been very troubling and our prayers and hearts go out to the residents. We have a lot of families in Brockton that have relatives still at home. Some are traveling back and forth if they're able to. I know that it's difficult because of the COVID crisis. You know, passports are backed up. It's very yes, difficult even I in know. emergency situations. Yes. And uh, we have residents in the Boston area too that I'm very close to that are of Haitian descent. And um, it's been a difficult road. This, this is not easy and I know that, you know, um, you know, people talk about the earthquakes in California. I know they're going through more fires this mm -hmm. year with yes. the weather conditions, global warming. But this area, and you can explain, it sits on a fault or something there in Haiti. That they're, they're, they're prone to maybe get some more earthquakes down the road, the way the island sits there. Yes. Um, it, it's tough. And um, we've got to do our part as a community. That what makes us the city of champions, us working together. I thank everybody who has already donated and who came to the vigil the other day. And I know that the more we get the word out, we'll get more people to donate. Yes. Um, because this is the bottom line, us working together to get the word out. And as I mentioned, City Hall and the mayor's office is open 8.30 to 4.30. All of the elected officials in Brockton are working together on this. So I don't want to name them all because I don't want to leave anybody out. But we have a great group of officials in Brockton and at the state level as our state delegation mm -hmm. and at the federal level. As I mentioned, Congressman Lynch's office, I've spoken to, they're voting on some other things right now in Washington that's important to get more funding for our district with infrastructure and so forth. But uh, this is an ongoing um, situation that we have to keep addressing and um, we have to do our part. And that's what we get uh, elected for is to help people out and it's so important. And simple donations are easy. They don't have to donate big expensive items. These masks, I know the, the Brockton Emergency Management, Steve Hook and their crew has been doing a fantastic job. They have supplies. The, um, the other things like first aid kits, anything, packaged goods. Now perishable goods are not good because they may not keep and I know that they mentioned there's a container leaving, what was the date again? September 7th? September 7th. So they have to be in City Hall by September 7th. But even after that, you can reach out to the church committee, Pastor Cherie, several other churches, uh, uh, Haitian community partners, and some of the other organizations, Project Hope, the Catholic Relief Associations, UNICEF. But beware, please do not get conned by these scam things that, as we know, our elderly population gets called every day to donate to certain things, and they're not all lawful things. We know the good, legitimate organizations, like the Red Cross as well. I know also the school is very concerned about the situation in Haiti. Yes. And I, when I reach out to my, my boss uh, at the school, because I'm the family advocate for mm -hmm. the Asian community, uh, not only that, but the African community is also those who speak French and who don't speak Creole, but mm -hmm. also advocate for them as well. And when I, I reach out to my boss and think that um, uh, she was going to uh, double check with the superintendent to see what uh, uh, we can do for the Haitian families in Haiti. Yes, and you brought up a good point that several years ago in 2010, our student population increased because we had a lot of students come in from Haiti because they had nowhere else to go and their relatives lived here. And, and that's uh, a concern. Um, so we got to work with our school department. Our school officials are doing a fantastic job as well. And you mentioned like we have the Adult Learning Center, we have the ESL program in Brockton, helping people get their citizenship. Uh, a lot of these families I've known personally, they have relatives in Haiti, yes. and some try to travel back and forth, but with the, with the COVID crisis, it's been yes. very difficult very on very any difficult. basis. Yes. Never mind, and, and they need supplies for vaccines too in Haiti, so yes. that's another whole thing. Like every other parts of the world, just, this just added to the uh, detriment of the community. And uh, it's a surprise very for the children also are very important. Yes, absolutely. So. I, I thank you for listening to us on the serious note. Sometimes we have positive stories to tell, and we did a little bit, but this is a very serious situation. I'm asking anybody that, again, can contact my office, 617-722-1200, or my email is michael.brady at masenate.gov. They can contact City Hall. I know the mayor's office is working, our city councilors, all of the above. Uh, we're working together to get this uh, issue somewhat resolved. And it's not going to be over tomorrow. So when the headlines aren't talking about it, like when something first happens in the tragedy, it's still going to go on. As I mentioned, we still have not gotten out of the devastation from the earthquake of 2010. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Pastor, anything you want to add? Well, it's, uh, the only thing I, I would like to add, I just say thank you in advance 
for listening to us and also for um, everything that uh, the community has in mind to donate to Haiti. Uh, it's, a, it's a very difficult time because I know that in the past, like as, as mentioned, 2010, that we had a big gathering that was to raise money for Haiti. That was very nice, but um, we can do it now uh, because of the situation in which that we are right now. So uh, I know that uh, it's a critical situation, and then I know the community that we get together to help and uh, they're going to send the help that we need uh, to Haiti. Well, thank you, Pastor Cherie, and um, I thank you all for watching today and listening. And again, if you have any ideas, there's plenty of good resources out there to donate. Um, and this is an ongoing issue. Uh, I know a lot of people have suffered this past year with the COVID pandemic. Uh, I urge anybody who has not got their vaccinations, please, the federal government just approved the Pfizer vaccine. Um, I've taken the vaccine. Luckily, I have not had any side effects. I know some people have died from the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and there's still people that are getting sick off and on, so I take it very seriously. I listen to the experts on that, but, um, and I know people are suffering, but please, if you can do a little more help to help out our residents of Brockton and the Haitian community as well as the Boston. I would like to say like a last word to the not only the Haitian communities, but that for all the Brockton community, because uh, uh, don't wait until that you seek to take the vaccine. It's very, very important uh, to do it now. Don't wait uh, and to take the vaccine after. Take the vaccine before you get sick and then you won't regret it. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you.